Hello! Now we will show you how to use a digital twin in Siemens Mechatronics Concept Designer for virtual commissioning. First you start the PLC Sim Advanced to simulate a PLC. The digital twin will be connected to this PLC. In the PLC Sim Advanced you start the PLC instance with a chosen name. We used my PLC. Once it is started, it should have an IP address and the green LED should be on. Now you start the TIA portal and open up your project. This project is the one running on your PLC. You navigate to the watch tables. Ours has already been created and set up. The watch table is used to provide the PLC with the necessary input signals that the digital twin cannot provide. Connect online to the PLC. Now we start the Annex Mechatronics Concept Designer to open up our digital twin. Open your project. Here you can see the model of the pneumatic press and the outfab. You now need to force the selected values in the watch table. We are modifying safety signals here, so we need to disable the safety mode with a password. Everything is looking fine. You can head back to the MCD and start the simulation. By clicking start, the simulation will begin. Because we chose the mode automatic previously, the station will perform one working cycle by itself. The digital twin provides the PLC with sensor values, the PLC controls the arm of the press and the shuttle movement. The cycle begins with the shuttle driving into the station. Once there, a collision sensor informs the PLC that the shuttle is in position. The PLC will control the press arm, it will press the relay into the relay socket. There it will halt for a fixed amount of time. The arm moves back up and the shuttle is released in theory continuing into the next station. To modify a couple of necessary signals, you have to open up the watch table. Here you can find a list of nearly all signals. For our station, you need to modify the following signals. To do that, you have to select the chosen signals and click on the button in this column. To modify these signals the whole time, click on this button. If you want to modify them a single time, click this button. After the signals are modified, go back to the Mechatronic Concept Designer. Now you can click on play and the simulation starts. You can see that the shuttle moves into the station and holds. Then the transceiver moves to the shuttle. After the check is completed, the shuttle moves further. Hello, we would like to present our part of the digital twin, the transport system. As already shown at the other stations, we start the PLC sim advanced and the tier portal. In the next step, we open our watch table. When the simulation has started, we indicate a positive edge in order to unlock the system. Afterwards, the simulation can be started in the MCD. When the shuttle entered the station, the collision sensor indicates a signal that the shuttle arrives. The shuttle waits for a start signal from the tier portal in order to move along. Since we don't place an order, 
the signal must be set manually. If the signal is set true, the shuttle drives to the next station. This process must be carried out at every station. In front of each station, the shuttle performs a braking process, which slows the shuttle down to half of speed. If an error is caused at station, the shuttle drives for post-progressing into the arena. This error must be also set manually, because we cannot read out RFD data. The hexadecimal value, as shown in the video, is used for this. If an error is detected at the writing station, the track switch set to Entrance. A faulty relay can now be removed. After the error has been deleted, the shuttle drives to the exit of the arena, and the track switch set to Exit. The shuttle continues to drive from station to station. The sequence runs quickly, because we are not processing any order. For this reason, the shuttle does not stop at any station. The process changes when the individual stations are implemented. The shuttle doesn't stop at any station anymore, till it arrives at the writing station. No more errors are detected and the track switch set to transit. A complete run of the shuttle has been done. We hope you enjoyed the presentation and thanks for watching.